Okay, so in this video I'm going to talk about upgrading the warranty on your Solar Edge inverter. Okay, so my solar PV system is approaching about nearly a year and a half old now. And as part of kind of the products that I have is a solar edge inverter. And they come with, I think, 10 years warranty as standard, which is fantastic. Most um, of the inverters don't have anywhere near that much. But within the first two years, you can have a choice to extend that warranty to either 20 years or 25 years. So I've decided that with some of the feed-in tariff payments that I've had, I'm going to go ahead and basically extend my warranty for 25 years. So I want to have, you know, as long lasting, kind of less worrying to do. So the cost of an inverter is around a thousand pounds. So you've probably still have to pay to get it installed by an electrician, or whatever, if it gets changed out. Um, but I'm happy to pay a few hundred pounds to get that kind of peace of mind for you know 25 years of the system being installed because probably by then if something's not working after 25 years the system would have degraded um, and I hopefully would have made back uh, extra money to kind of pay for any replacement anyway so this one uh, so the video basically I'm going to show you the the process to go about extending the warranty on your solar edge inverter I have a HD wave 6000 um, so obviously yours may kind of vary depending on what model you have. So we'll pop onto the screen now and basically show you a bit of information about um, kind of costs and how it all kind of sits together. So we go up here. So okay, so the first thing to see here is the Solar Edge kind of pricing. So as mentioned, you can extend your warranty. For to 20 or 25 years, depending on the model that you have. And it shows you here, basically the models um, that, are, that are kind of eligible for warranty extension and the costs. So my one kind of falls into this bracket just here. So I'm gonna be doing this um, for 25 years. I've decided that already for you know, a little bit extra. Uh, I don't think it's worth not doing the extra five years as well. So the day of recording this, which is the 2nd of January uh, 2020, um, the exchange rates are, are pretty decent. So 280 euros is about 238 pounds and 301 US dollars is about 229 pounds. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have the, have the option as to what currency I wanna make the purchase in. If, if possible, I'll buy it in US dollars because it'll be uh, slightly better for my pocket by uh, about 10 or nine pounds. Um, but basically this is kind of the information on the pricing. Then if you uh, obviously wanna go ahead and extend your warranty, you need to go to the warranty extension page. I'll put a link uh, down in the description. And basically this is what you kind of end up with. So basically what's gonna happen if there is a defect with your inverter over 25 years, once you've extended it, they have you know, so a limited product warranty offering. And we can see that information if we go here, providing uh, you know, more information about um, you know, what the warranty covers. You probably also have power optimizers on a solar edge system. Most people tend to go with that. They have 25 years um, already anyway, um, but this just provides a little bit of information uh, about the warranty kind of cover and what the exclusions are. So the main thing is obviously if there's any damage of misuse or you've kind of modified it or you know, installed it not in, within the parameters of the manufacturer, they're not gonna cover it. So just common sense um, kind of plays a part in this, but uh, I've looked through it and it kind of makes makes perfect sense to me. So I'm happy with uh, the limitations and everything of the product. So let's go back. Okie dokie, so uh, what we need to do is select the country that we're in. This is probably where it's gonna kind of decide you know, what cost I'm gonna pay. But obviously this is a warranty, it's an official thing, not something you wanna be kind of screwing around with. Then you need to put in your inverter serial number. So as you look at your inverter, at least with the HD wave, it's on the far right hand corner. 
or if you still have your documentation around which you should have the serial number will be on there as well so i'm just obviously going to blur this out um for mine um but you also just need to find that information and put it all in so let's do that now And select, I want to extend it to 25 years. I don't have any offer code or anything, and I am not a robot. So hopefully it's going to verify what product is that I have. Okay, so... Oh, so it's giving me the option for US dollars, which is fantastic. Um, so item Venus free WE 25 years. One pH inverter, four to six. Uh, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I know it's an SC six thousand H that I have. Let me just uh, pause a moment to see if I can Google what this Venus three thing means before I uh, go any further. Okay, did a quick bit of Googling. Uh, any kind of results I get for this thing it's calling uh, comes up with pictures that looks like a HD wave. So I'm relatively confident this is what I need. Uh, and also the price is what I'm expecting, 301 US dollars. So we will go ahead with this. So now I need to fill out my uh, billing information. So I'll just do that. Okay, that's it wants us to make the payment. Okay, so I'm just going to put in my payment information into here now. Submit the payment. Okay, so I'll take a picture of that. So look at what email they reckon they sent. Whilst I'm doing that, I'll just actually see um, what the exchange rate ended up being for that purchase. Okay, so just whilst I'm waiting for uh, the email confirmation, I just checked on my phone uh, with my credit card for the transaction and it shows that it cost me 228 pounds and 16 pence for that renewal. So in line with what I was expecting. So uh, let me just see um, what the notification email looks like and then we will finish up the video. Okay, so I got the email confirmation, it actually got into my junk email. So keep an eye on that uh, when you do this, but now it's confirmed that my inverter is now warranted until 2043. So uh, yeah. I hope this video kind of helped and just really as a reminder that if you've got a solar edge inverter that you've only got those two years to consider kind of extending the warranty on your inverter. I think it makes sense. Uh, it gives me peace of mind for a long period of time for that £228. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you decided to extend your warranty on your inverter. Also let me know if you've ever had a chance or I say a chance but uh, the unfortunate opportunity to test the warranty process. Had you had your inverter replaced by Solar Edge under warranty and what was that process like. Thanks for watching this video. A thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.